question. Konnichiwa. I don't know if that's what you say. I'm going to be reviewing a Japanese manga. Actually, no, the cigarette is really gross and I should not put it in my mouth. Exactly, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I was trying to be all classy like Irish people are by smoking this. Yeah, all the Irish smoke cigarettes. They're unrepentant cigarette smokers. I think I have a headache now from putting that cigarette in my mouth. Anyways, uh, so I'm reviewing uh, Good Night Pun Pun by uh, the creator of What a Wonderful World and Solanin. So His name is Inio Asano. As As I don't know. No, okay, so this is the story about um, a young condom and um, no, he's probably like a duck or something. Um, <laughs> but but, but he, uh, he, he's, it's, it's about his childhood years. It's a multi-part series. This book is like something like 445 pages. Um, I looked it up on the internet, but it doesn't actually say in the book. And uh, so it's, it's a Japanese manga, which means there are pictures and writing in it. And I assume this is actually made by a man living in Japan who is Japanese. The, the artist we edit is uh, beautiful, superb, sublimely beautiful. Uh, and uh, I really read, I, I'm more of a reader. I, I read it more than I looked at it, but if you were to like, say you were uh, living in like um, a cardboard box um, and you only had enough money to buy one piece of entertainment, I would recommend Good Night Pun Pun, pun, pun because um, I would recommend this because you can just, there's so many pages for $25. Look, minimum wage where I'm at, it, is, it, is it 14 yet? No, it's not 14, but I think it's like 11 something. Um, and minimum wage is like $11, so it's like two hours and 15 minutes work on a job. Uh, if you can manage to work for two hours and 15 minutes, you can have this book in your cardboard box. It doesn't require electricity. Um, uh, and it's just beautiful. Like, every page is a work of art. Um, I, uh, I set my profile picture and my cover photo on Facebook to uh, pages of this, just the artwork. Um, and I just wanted to show you, I set some bookmarks. It seems like I'm a creep because this is about like people basically in grade two, or I don't know what grade they're in, but they're young children, dominate the book. And then this family of duck condoms. Um, so there's uh, some art there that's quite beautiful. And, uh, like, so the, there's, like, the duck condoms, who I guess, at first I thought they wanted to, like, not gender them or not racialize them, but they totally gender and racialize all the other people. Um, and, uh, they even gender and, they, I don't know about racialize, but they gender, like, they say uncle and, father and mother and so this is the girl who uh at, like literal girl who the duck condom wants to go out with and uh, i just didn't have her in bourbon and uh uh so she's sad so yeah but it's like beautiful artwork and um they do grow up at the end. If, okay, this is a spoiler review. Uh, at the end, the 
everybody grows up a bit, and it's like, I think there's, there's at least six volumes, I think there's ten volumes, maybe even more, and like, um, beautiful artwork. Okay, so, I would like you to have this among the other books that I got you. Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Uh, Wait, like it's mine now? Well, okay, so I'll just well, I'll leave it here and read it. it, is it, it or I'll put it with the other I, I don't mean to get too personal, but we share things, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I love you. I meant more, do, can I have custody of it? Yes. <laughs> That has cost a deal. But what, like I was saying, if we lived in a cardboard box, we wouldn't have to recharge the batteries of the book. Yes. Oh, we, I'm glad we don't live in a cardboard box, though. We, we, we would have to make sure we had a good supply of plastic bags to protect it from the rain and snow. Also, I'm, I'm, also we, I'm, need to, we need to, we need to some sort of electricity or like, or fire or something okay. so that we don't freeze death. Yeah, I'm not. I know it sounds like I'm making Wait, fun of. Yeah, yes, it's still oh. on. <laughs> I, I, I know it, it, it sounds like I'm making fun of people who live in comfort box. Trust me, they are literally better than me in every way. Um, uh, just their survival skills um, and all that. Um, but so, yeah, so. The story of Pun Pun is, uh, Good Night Pun Pun, is about this duck condom who's in love with the, the little girl. But he, the duck condom's little too, and the duck condom has an uncle who makes him eat moon pies. And someone gave me a moon pie, and uh, it looks like a Jean Louis. It's basically a dessert. So the, like, basically, the plot is Pun Pun, who's the smallest duck condom, um, he, his parents got in an accident and went to the hospital, and uh, his uncle comes over to take care of him, and it's basically about him, I actually don't know if it's him or her, I, anyways, I'm just going to say him because I'm a man, as, a, as a, I'm a man, I'm going to speak um, assuming um, everything that is ambiguous is my gender. That was a really b bad joke that I would real, real like. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, <sighs> so, the, uh, the Pun Pun, no, he must be a guy. Um, so he, uh, his, okay, Pun Pun's friends and uh, they get this VHS they found on the street that's pornography. And they're like, they're probably like eight years old or something. And you know, like, I don't know if this makes me weird, but like, I saw my first gl glimpses of like that kind of thing when I was, that age or even younger, so anyways, um, it's, uh, it, it, it makes you feel like tricky uh, watching this, uh, reading this book um, about these young adults discovering all this, and they don't really go into it that much. But it's like, should I be reading this? Because this is about kids and pornography. But the thing is, like, actual kids, real life kids, are exposed to pornography. So, what are you gonna do? Like, it's, it's real. It doesn't make you a sinner or anything like that for reading a story. It's a coming of age story. So, to censor, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'd probably have to take some school to figure out all those thoughts or seek out therapy. Um, uh, so, so, so they find the pornography and in the middle of the pornography there's this guy who said he killed his family, he killed his mom and dad. Like the, there's a porno tape and the porno tape cuts 
to a guy recording over it, and the guy says, spoilers obviously, the guy says uh, that uh, he killed his mother and father and left the family fortune in this old abandoned factory. And um, uh, so the kids decide to go to the factory. Um, they're looking for money, they're looking for, yeah, and just, um, it's a weird book. It, it's, it took me three days to read it. Uh, as Melissa, uh, 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 a person named Melissa uh, said, um, uh, it's been like, the last book I read was An, An Idiot Abroad. Uh, by who's that? Carl Pilkington, which was a book that Melissa gave me, um, and I I really haven't read in at least three years. So this is the first book I read in three years, and so it's a good book. I give it five out of five. It was part one, four hundred fifty pages basically, all beautiful. The plot is kind of creepy to like. It's a kind of creepy plot, but it's like the artwork's beautiful, uh, the price is right, uh, price is always right, the price will kill you if you, no, no. <laughs> and um, uh, so yeah, it's a good book, um, that's my review of the good, good Night Pun Pun Part 1. And I have already purchased, I ordered in the mail part two, so I'll review that.